left it so that you can interlock them. And we're actually spray foaming, gluing them together. Actually, when we screwed these sides on, we put three inch screws in there and they're just there to hold it while the glue dries. And that's the spray foam that you use there. And that glues it. So basically, I'm gonna start my connection here. Okay. Not perfect, but it's gonna hold it together until the spray foam guy comes and does his thing. So, this is a way that you can. Do a good job of insulating your hydronic underground heat pipes. Okay, and then I put one on each side like that, and then I go around the bottom, wrap one right around tight. And that holds it together so the glue can dry. Voila! Look at that. Nice, strong. Two at a time or even three at a time will work. And do them outside the trench because that'll keep it clean and easier to assemble. And then you just throw them in at 16 foot lengths or 24 foot lengths. And then that leaves you with only a few connections to make in the trench. It's a lot better working outside the trench than it is in the trench. And we, we produce a lot of scrap wood out here off of our sawmill. When we clean up the grounds around us, we're, we're just, we live in the woods. There's lots of wood around us. It only makes sense that we should be heating these buildings with wood and to have one central system, one fire that does it all Special blade on the table saw. Wow, does that ever make a smooth work of it? Doesn't take long at all. End up with nice straight square cuts. Four pipes in this channel to go to the boiler, to and from the boiler. And right now I'm just getting the PEX straight. Now what kind the kind of PEX that we're using here is it's called PEX L PEX. Okay, and it's got the aluminum inside the pipe. And so I like this stuff. I've never worked with it before until now, but unlike the other PEX that stays coiled up. This PEX actually bends and uh, it retains its shape. So what we're doing is I'm just down here, first of all, getting all the pipe straight. So it's laying fairly straight in this trough. We've cut these styrofoam pieces here just to be kind of a guide to hold the pipe, you know, and space it inside the trough here. So we put double sided carpet tape, exterior carpet tape on the bottom here, and we just sticks real nice there. And then we're going to slide the pipe in there, and then we're going to slide the other pipe on top of it, which you'll see in a minute here. 
Okay, so we push them in at the same time. I find that by doing that, it doesn't crack them. And sometimes you have to get the other one started there. And in a few days, we're hoping to have all those lines put inside the insulated forms. And then we're going to have somebody come out and spray foam all those lines so that they're all insulated and we don't lose any heat into the ground. But the heat is conserved and used in all the buildings. Very exciting to be on the wire that we're going to bury with it. It's for the solar panels. So we got to run two of those. 